Hello everybody, this is Braden from EG4 Electronics and I'm excited to bring to y'all today that we now have BMS test for the Mac OS system. A lot of people have been needing to update their batteries firmware or even just want to check on their batteries and we now have some Mac software to support that. Um, there is also a BMS Tools Mac software that will be coming out soon, but I'm, today I'm going to walk you through the BMS test. Now it is not currently live on the site, um, it should be available soon. If this video comes up before that, you can definitely contact your distributor and get a hold of it. But uh, first you want to download that. Then what you will do is you will get an RS-485 to USB-A or USB-C cable. Um, if you have a USB-A, then you can use an adapter and plug that in to the USB-C. You want to make sure that you have drivers for that um, installed onto your Mac. That way you can actually read. But you will take that RS-485 cable and plug it in to the battery. We'll turn the battery on as well, and that way we can actually interact with it. Since this is a newer Mac, we're going to plug our USB-C in. Alrighty, and we can go ahead and get the firmware that we're wanting to uh, update off of eg4electronics.com slash downloads. It'll be under the Live Power 4. And then of course, for BMS tools, it will be under the LLs. Once you have that, go ahead and open up BMS test. This is the window that you will be shown. Under port settings, we want to find USB serial. So we don't have that right now. We'll try port refresh, see if it's there. It doesn't look like it is, so let's unplug from the battery and plug back in. And there we go, now we have it. If you're still not finding it, then it may be a driver uh, thing. Uh, sometimes the adapters can cause that, so uh, try to get the latest drivers and you should be able to find it. Once you have that, you'll click the connect and we'll see that the port has opened successfully. We're now connected to our battery. We can go over to bat info uh, from the drop down, however many batteries you have in your pack. You'll select that number. I only have one on right now and the start address is zero. So we're gonna add address to sequence and that should populate, there we go. We now have our battery's information. Now, if we want to update our batteries, we wanna go over to Program Upgrade, and this needs to be done after you have connected. So, um, even if you're not doing the bet info stuff, you wanna make sure that you have connected to the port successfully. Uh, then you will go under Program Upgrade, and you will load Program Upgrade. And again, this is what you downloaded from EG4 Electronics website. So we can see here that we have a 0205 and an 0207. So if you're wondering which one you need to do, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is go to Get Boot Information. You'll click that, give it a moment. Oh, we failed. So um, it actually defaults the device address to one on this screen as well. Uh, you can't forget to change that. So make sure that the device address is zero. Otherwise, you won't be looking for the master battery. So let's try that again. And oh, there we go. We are successful. So we can see that our hardware version is 0207. Now, that means we can go into the load program and we will select our 0207 update firmware, open that up, and then again, remember, you wanna be on the zero, and then upgrade start. And we can see that it is successfully updating the firmware as the numbers are incrementing and we have our progress bar. Alrighty, our update has been successful. Uh, we can see that here, our update successful under the uh, data verification is correct. Now, 
Uh, don't forget that whenever you are actually connecting to your batteries, that your dip switches on this battery are all in the down position. You want your master battery to be the one that is connected, and you want all those dip switches to be in the down uh, configuration. That way, device address is zero. But that is currently how you interact with the BMS test for Mac. There will be some uh, additions in the future for use with the Com Hub that will be rolled out. So we look forward to having that release. But for now, this is Braden from EG4 Electronics, and thank you so much for watching.